If you'd like to add a flip lock closure, then first you're going to start by poking the prongs of the flip unit through the washer to see which holes the prongs poke through. Make a mental note of which holes. Then with the outer panel wrong side up, center the bottom edge of the washer 1 and 3 8 inches up from the bottom straight edge. Mark where the prongs poked through. Use a seam ripper to cut a slit at each mark. Poke the prongs through your fabric from the right side to the wrong side. Place the washer over the prongs and bend the prongs away from the center to secure the hardware in place. Next, we're going to cover up the wrong side of the hardware. Ideally, it would be best if you had a scrap of your fabric that was 3 inches wide and 2 inches high. Otherwise, you can take your strap piece that you're not going to use since we're installing a flip lock and cut a piece that's generously wider than the back side of the hardware. With wrong sides together, cover the back side of the hardware with your scrap. You can use some adhesive spray to hold the fabric in place, or you could use some double-sided basting tape. You could also use hot glue or a permanent glue if you prefer not to stitch this down. Otherwise, you're going to take it over to your sewing machine and top stitch an eighth inch from each edge of the scrap to enclose the wrong side of the hardware. Just be cautious of your hardware and the washer as you sew. I like to use a narrow foot or a zipper foot when I attach this so I can stitch right along the very edge of my scrap. At the end of your stitching, you can back stitch or leave a long tail and tie the threads off. Once that is done, then you'll follow all the instructions in the pattern except for the section, prepare the outer panel. And unscrew the screws from the remaining piece of hardware to separate the face plate from the back plate. Center the bottom edge of the back plate three quarters of an inch up from the flap edge. Mark the screw holes and the opening. Next, draw an oval around all three markings, only slightly larger. I'm going to use a permanent pen because this won't be seen later on and will be covered up by the hardware. Then you're going to cut out the oval. Take your face plate and test to see how the three holes fit inside the oval. It should be a snug, tight fit. If you can't see the three holes of the face plate completely, then cut more away. Then with wrong sides together, position the face plate over the oval against the outer panel and the back plate over the oval against the inner panel. Screw the hardware together. And that's it, you're finished. Share photos of your completed project using hashtag Sally Tomato. We'd love to see your projects in our Facebook group, on Instagram and other social sites. Thanks so much for watching.